Looking at your sunrise on this first alert weather day, it's already pretty toasty outside, only going to get warmer, but a nice view to start things off over Tybee Island. Temperatures on our islands in the 80s already feeling like the 90s in St. Simon. So it's going to be a hot one here, especially this afternoon. Also, afternoon into the evening, gusty wind possible within the strongest of storms, but not everybody sees the storms. Everybody feels the heat. Excessive heat warning that is in effect here going from Chatham County all the way down South 95. Everybody else a heat advisory as well. Not a big difference there. Everybody will be hot. Make sure you're taking the same precautions, taking breaks from the heat, staying hydrated and then uh, Mother Nature might try to hydrate you. We got uh, the storm chance as we go into the afternoon and evening. Yellow shaded areas where we have the best chance for some of that gusty wind later on this afternoon and into the evening. As for this morning, we haven't had much rain out there. A little bit of rain going through Swainsboro into northern Bullitt County early, early this morning, but it's all dry right now. But a rain chance is coming up again this afternoon into the evening. Threats of heavy rain leading to flooding and then also some of that gusty wind for that highlighted area we just talked about. Thankfully, this morning, no issues getting everybody to school and work. It will be warm this afternoon, upper 90s. That's warm even for us this time of the year. Feeling close to 110 at times, alerting you to that very hot afternoon that is upon us later on today. As we look at your future radar, going to be pretty quiet until after 2 o'clock. Some of these isolated storms looking to form south of I-16. These are going to mainly remain down that area as we head into the evening time frame. So north of Savannah, less of a rain chance here today. But again, a few of these storms could have uh, the downpours with a little bit of that damaging wind. Going forward here into the middle of the week, we lower that rain chance, keep those temperatures pretty high as well, and then jump up your rain chance again coming up on Friday afternoon. Right now doesn't look like a severe threat. Your full seven day forecast, seeing those temperatures in the 90s there all week long. You know, your extended forecast, maybe 10 days out, we drop back into the 80s, but you could always get this forecast in the WTOC weather app. Again, a first alert weather day for that heat this afternoon, the storm chance this afternoon as well. More on your weather and traffic's coming up.